So next up on that, and it's again, Biden being Biden, and, and just understand that Biden being Biden often starts with, and this is again why we like him, uh, one, because of partisan reasons, but two, just because of who he is. Biden being Biden starts with him just being a decent man, right? It just starts with him being a decent man. So um, as you know, and this is going to drop on Monday, but over the weekend, Biden went down to Florida to visit uh, people following the hurricane. And Ron DeSantis went ahead and um, he went ahead and blew off Biden. And it was funny because um, rather than calling out DeSantis, Biden played a cool, I mean, uh, uh, on Twitter, they, you know, somebody quoted that basically said, uh, Biden, DeSantis may have had other reasons, but he did help us plan this. He sat with FEMA and decided where we should go, and I'm very pleased. A guy who we don't agree very much at all, distinguished former governor and senior senator, we, he came and he talked to me. And so he's talking about Rick Scott. And so what's happening is DeSantis tried to clown Biden by not meeting him. And I think that DeSantis also might be spooked. And, I, and I'm going to give him a little bit of credit. Do you remember that when uh, the Hurricane Sandy hit the East Coast? And Rick's, uh, Chris Christie was uh, photographed hugging Obama. Maybe the Santa didn't want that moment. But basically what, what what Biden did was like, he's a good guy. You're talking about the Santas. You know, he just he just had other scheduling priorities. And then he also went ahead and flagged um, Rick Scott. And then, as, of course, as you shared with me earlier, was, you know, they, they, Fox News was covering it. And someone was singing Biden's praises. And all of a sudden, Fox News' um, signal went dead. But Biden is showing, and this is what was missing during the Trump years, Biden was just showing what you do. I mean, Biden, if Biden was Trump, given the way that DeSantis has dealt with him, um, Trump would have possibly screwed over Florida just because he doesn't like the way that the current sitting governor treats him or doesn't like what he says and because he's a political opponent. Biden doesn't move like that at all. And that's what we Americans need. Yeah. I don't know if you caught this moment. He, I think he was on the tarmac either coming or going. And they said, do you, what do you think about DeSantis not meeting you? Blah, blah, blah. And he said, we're here to help Florida and Floridians. Right. And that's what presidents do. They're the president for everybody, no matter who they voted for. And Florida's not kind to Joe Biden, to say the least. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Right. You just have to help people. That's your job. And I think DeSantis already got that photo moment. Are you talking about the Chris Christie moment? But if I'm not mistaken, John, when the when the buildings collapsed, Biden went down there. The moment with with DeSantis in the white boots, I think that was, I think DeSantis wants to avoid that completely too. And there, there's a scene where DeSantis is is walking off, pouting, and Biden's in the background laughing with with Florida locals. So I think there already was that moment. DeSantis was trying to avoid it. In turn, John, you just look like a poor governor, right? You look like you're not trying to help your people. You look like you're not getting funds. Now, the difference between Rick Scott and DeSantis is Rick Scott has an election coming up next year and DeSantis doesn't. So I totally understand where Rick Scott's coming from. But Rick Scott also doesn't have to sit there and say that. He could show up, he could shake hands and play nice. But he actually took the mic and took the opportunity to say how how well Biden's handling this. For a sitting Republican senator in the leadership group, right? I think Rick Scott's like number two in, in the Senate, if I'm not mistaken, John. Or at least he's he's like... Uh, leader in waiting, because depending on what happens with Mitch McConnell, um, for him to say Biden's handled this really well, he's on top of it, he's given us everything before the hurricane even hit, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't know if you saw this moment with Peter Ducey and the press secretary where Peter Ducey says, you guys are handling this so well, is that because of the poor response to the Hawaii fires? And she clapped back out of, obviously, and he, she said, our response was the same. You guys just didn't cover it back then. And so even when they try to catch Biden and they, they're trying to make his Hurricane Katrina and they try to deal with Obama, right? The BP oil spill was Obama's Katrina, and et cetera, et cetera. They try to make Afghanistan, Afghanistan withdrawal uh, Biden's Katrina. I think, John, look, Biden's not going to win Florida. I, I think you know, let's just say that. But I actually don't think this is lost on people. When you lose things in a hurricane, when you lose your homes or you lose a car or maybe you know somebody who loses a home and you avoided it, 
when people show up, it doesn't really matter if you're Republican or Democrat. It really doesn't, right? When there's a fire next door, if my neighbors are Trump people, I'm going to go help them. It doesn't matter to me. And I think you'll, I think they'll remember it. It might not get them votes, but I just think it doesn't matter. Like you're not there to get votes. You're just there to help people. And I think people see that and feel that. 